and it's time for another review. So I started off running about five years ago doing some um, just training to learn what it takes to build up to do a 5k and then a 10k a half and then a full and I wanted to get in a little bit better shape uh, get out there de-stress and so I just grabbed a pair of, of shorts that I had um, and went out and hit the road um, I learned quickly that there are specific shorts for running for a reason. Uh, my first pair of running shorts um, were some Adidas uh, shorts that I wore and um, they were good. They were very nice and light, but they didn't do it. Once they uh, got wet from sweat, they clung really bad to my legs as I was running and that didn't help things at all. So I upgraded and uh, bought some Brooks running shorts. They had a liner to them. Uh, they were a little bit on the shorter side. I think it was a six inch uh, inseam on them. And so they worked pretty well. I did like them. They had some reflective details which helped when I went running outside at night and in the early morning hours. And I did like them. I did run in them until I wore them out. They were a little too short for what my comfort level was with running shorts. So I switched it up. Um, and watch some videos online to see what other people were running in. Um, uh, one, a YouTuber that I watch that does a lot of running reviews um, is Ginger Runner, and I watched uh, his video on some shorts that he recommends for trail running and for his running adventures, and I tried the North Face Long Haul Shorts. Uh, they are very nice. They have a very nice um, long liner in them with built-in pockets on the leg part, which I never used the entire time I had them. Um, I did use all of the storage pockets that are built in along the back side of them. They have some expandable like netting material and they worked really, really well. Um, North Face has a great guarantee that if you wear them out, you can send them in and they'll replace them. They'll actually send you a gift card to, so you can order a new pair or try something else. So um, I actually use the long haul running shorts to this day. They're in my rotation, and um, so there's some minor issues with them that I don't like. Um, the The string on the waist area tends to stretch a little bit, and it's hard to get it buckled down so that you can get a good tight uh, clench around your waist so they don't slip when you start running. And sometimes when they get um, a little bit wet from maybe rain, uh, they start to slide a little bit. So. I started to look for some other things. I wore those uh, North Face long haul shorts for a lot of the marathons that I've done so far, including uh, the, the Goofy Challenge. I wore them uh, for those races. Uh, both of the races, I had two pairs of shorts and, and they worked fantastic for what I needed at that time. So I started to look for some other solutions that are out there. I wanted to find a store that was local to me, that had a product, that would um, that I could go in and try on and really test out, see how it fit. And then I wanted something that I could fit my cell phone in. Um, I carry a iPhone, uh, at the time it was a six and now I'm at a seven, uh, just regular, not an S, um, not a plus or anything. And I wanted to make sure that I could wear that in my, in my um, shorts so that one, my watch could talk to it and communicate back to my wife and let her know where I was so she could track me, especially if I was doing a race um, or doing some trail running. Um, I also wanted to be able to stuff a lot of other things in there, my car keys if I was running, um, some uh, sport beans if I was running in a race, that kind of thing. Uh, so I started looking what was out there and I came across these wonderful shorts. These are the Lululemon Pace Breakers. Uh, they're a nine inch short. Um, as you can tell, these ones are in a, in a texture honeycomb pattern. Um, I've also got these in a, a green, I think this is what my wife told me, it was a green colorblind, it really doesn't help in these reviews. But they're very nice. They have a detail on the back side of them. If you look, um, it is that black line that's on there. It goes down the leg and it's also on the front. Um, it is a nice airy mesh, so you get a nice breathability in there. You can see my shirt through that. Um, and that helps immensely in keeping you cool. Um, they do have uh, a reflective detail um, 
here on the leg. If I can find it, give me just a second. I just flipped them all around. So um, they have a nice reflective detail on the leg. Um, it is right there. And it's a Lululemon uh, trademark. On the inside, they have this wonderful liner. And it go, it's a, a boxer style liner. Uh, it goes down to about mid quad um, on your leg. They do have these nice ties that are on the inside of the waistband. They do not stretch. It's like a shoelace with a plastic end on them. And then if you look at them, they've got pockets. So there's hand pockets that are non closure They don't have a closure to them, a magnet or anything that are right there. Those, you can put some uh, sport beans in them uh, to carry around, just nothing that's gonna really slide out. Once you get them down into the pocket, um, they won't fall out. I haven't had a problem with that. I wear these to the gym a lot, um, and I carry my car keys in those pockets, um, as well as my wallet if I have to run to the store or something, and I haven't had a problem of things falling out. They're pretty deep pockets, and they're really comfortable. So the thing that sold me on these um, if if you look at them is this side pocket here is <clears throat> It's built in to where this stripe is so you have this stripe that comes down the leg here uh, For that venting material that I told you about but there is a hidden zipper pocket that is right here And it sits on your left hip um, right next to that other pocket, but this will fit a cell phone um, I fit my cell phone in there as well as uh, with keys and my wallet was in there all at the same time and you can zip that closed and it keeps it really secure. It has a really nice uh, metal zipper to it here and it hides it. It's totally hidden. They don't even know it's there. Um, so if you're going on vacation or something and you want to wear these as you travel, they work really, really well. So I wanted to do an unboxing of one of these or an unbagging in this case because I just bought myself a new pair. Um, you can find them on sale. Uh, Lululemon usually carries them uh, for about 68 bucks. Uh, you can get a brand new pair in a myriad of colors. They go in sizes from small to 2XL. Um, and the 2XL will fit a, a guy with like a 40 inch waist, uh, not a problem, and they're still comfortable. So um, they have a lot of sweat wicking ability to them. They're not bulky. They dry really, really quick. Um, if you're running in the rain, you don't have to worry about them sticking to your legs and, and causing you to, to, you know, that bulk that you get when your clothes get wet and stick to you. So um, here is the unbagging of this. So Lululemon now gives you these black bags if you're a guy and you go in and buy these. Uh, shorts. So I went in today to my local Lululemon store. I uh, went on a, a run with them last night and did some exercising. They have great um, community awareness and community um, um, interchange, I guess you could call it, um, where they have different events that you can go to. So yoga, that kind of thing. They had a runner's group uh, that they did last night. Uh, we got some rain and some thunderstorms, and so it kind of canceled it. We did a little bit of a short run and then did some exercises uh, they're in the store. Fantastic. They're very helpful, very um, quick to respond if you have questions. And so while I was there, I went over to their clearance rack, which they always have a clearance rack, guys. And um, you can pick up some great deals on stuff. So normal 68 bucks for a pair of uh, Lululemon shorts like these um, for the pace breakers. And so I picked up a new pair today and I'll show you the price tag on them. But they come in this black bag. Normally you get a red bag with a bunch of sayings on it. It's red and white. Um, I've got a couple of those. It's a very nice material. It's like a rip stop uh, material. So you can reuse these, take your lunch to work, um, carry wet clothes if you're going to the gym and you need to like carry a swimsuit or something. Uh, they work really well. They have a nice button at the top and they will hold um, a good amount of stuff. You can use it as a mini grocery bag if you need. So. Um, I went in, found these, great pair. So it normally has a saying on the side of it, and I don't know if you can see it or not. This one's really, really faint. It said, man's mind once stretched by a new idea never regains its original dimensions. And it's on there. Let's see if you can see it at all. It might be real faint on there. There you go. You can see it a little bit. So uh, that's the bag that it comes in. 
something different. It's not just a plastic grocery bag kind of thing. It's not a paper bag. It's a reusable bag. It's very folds down and it's pretty guy friendly. So it doesn't have a big heart on it or anything like that. You may like hearts, who knows? Okay, so um, I went to the rack and I found these uh, blue, all blue pace breaker shorts. Uh, they do have the reflective detail just like the other ones. Same pocket um, here on the side. Same metal attachment, but this one compared to the other ones has a little rubberized coating on the outside of it uh, to give you a little bit better grip, I guess, um, or to make it a little bit quieter. Um, but it hides just the same right up underneath there so you can't see it. So a um, little bit of information. So why we made this, this is the ticket for it. Um, run, lunge, or Cobra in these shorts. We designed them with a classic fit and lots of storage. Two, Swift Ultra Fabric is lightweight, four-way stretch and sweat, and sweat wicking. Uh, Breathe Light Fabric is soft, lightweight, and sweat wicking. Added lycra fiber for stretch and shape retention. Zippered pocket keeps your phone close at hand, which it does. Designed to sit at the waist, cut with room through the butt and quad. So it has a nine inch inseam. So and this one is an extra large, has this nice tag on it, um, but they're regularly 68 bucks. I got these for 49 bucks and they helped me out on this deal. Um, I didn't get a discount or anything. Has the same ties with the plastic ends so they won't rub and annoy you and cause chafing. Watch my chafing video to help prevent that. And then it has the nice black liner on the inside. It's very ergonomic and it is flat seams. There are flat seams on this, so you do not get chafing. Very important when you're doing a long run. So uh, the only thing that I don't really like about these is they have a fake fly on the front of them. I don't know if you can quite tell, but there is a fake fly, which is kind of annoying because uh, people think that your flies open all the time. Uh, my wife has asked me why they have a fake fly on it. I don't know. It's just a styling detail, I guess. Um, but there is a fake fly. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, the ties are still on the inside of the waistband. It's got a fairly thick elastic waistband, so it's not just putting the grip in one area, but spreads that out. Uh, throughout your waist. You won't get chafing um, as bad with these. I have not had, uh, if I combine with my Squirrels Nut Butter and these, I do not get chafing on uh, my legs or my thighs or um, anywhere along my pants, even where my phone is rubbing in my pocket or my iPod is running in my pocket. I don't have problems with these. So that's why I'm doing a review on these. These are the Pace Breakers. They are the nine inch inseam shorts. They go down, they're pretty long compared to other running shorts, but I like them a little bit longer. So it works for me. If you like things that are a little bit shorter, um, you can look at the surge shorts that are out there. I'll do a re review on those later on. I've got a couple pairs of those. If you want uh, a nice pair of pants, uh, you, can, you can get those as well. Uh, they have the search, uh, surge um, water resistant pants. I wore those yesterday in the rain. Um, but options on these pace breakers, you can get them without a liner. If you don't want a liner and you want to run uh, with a pair of boxers or, or whatever, um, or some um, compression shorts, you can get those as well. Um, I've had ones that the liner is worn out on them and I have taken them back to the store and turned them in and they gave me a gift card and I could get a new pair. So. Uh, their customer service is amazing. I appreciate how fast they turn around in replies to me. Uh, I shoot Facebook messages to the local store as well as to the national face, um, the national Lululemon contact, and both of them reply quickly, and they do quick on returns and on getting you issued a gift card if you wear out their products. So, uh, be you will be happy with these shorts. You'll be happy with anything that you buy from them. There's a reason why they've been around and why they are so popular because their products have great quality to them. So I highly recommend the Lululemon Pace Breakers. You can get them with or without the liner. I highly recommend the liner in them. That's why I have multiple pairs of these in all different colors because I wear them 
on all of my races. They are very fantastic to wear. I like that word fantastic. I don't know why. Um, but I highly recommend them. You can get them online. They go on sale all the time online. You can go to your local store. Go to www.lululemon.com to see where their locations are. Shoot them a message on Facebook. They'll help you out in finding your product wherever it is. If you can't find it in the local store, if you don't have a local store, their online uh, catalog works just perfect. So if you have any questions, shoot me a message. Please like, comment, subscribe. Shoot me a thumbs up on this review. Let me know what you think about the Lululemon pace breakers. What are your go-to shorts for your runs, whether short distance or long distance? I'd like to know. Um, I will do some more reviews in the future. Let me know if you want to hear anything uh, specific. I've got some sunglasses that I plan on doing, some reviews on, as well as some headwear, um, hats, and some socks and stuff like that. So keep uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to St. Jude Runner, uh, my channel on this on this page to watch more videos like this. Um, I do constant um, fundraising for St. Jude, hence the name. So if you'd like to donate, there is also a link um, at in the comments on this video. And I would appreciate any help that I could get in those pursuits in helping St. Jude. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you later.